for many of us, we think about being happy in life as having the things that we want satisfied. And of course, that is a part of it, but research has panned out again and again, that at least for some people, the things that they want aren't actually what ends up making them happy. A lot of people have a lot of biases when it comes to properly forecasting how much impact getting a new thing or working towards something is really going to impact their well-being in the long run. So that's what the whole field of positive psych is about. Now, I think a caveat here is that everybody's an individual. So what the field finds as a whole is always subject to change for any given individual. But I think there are some general truths that apply to most people. I think a really good way of thinking about this is something called the PERMA model. Um, and this means that um, someone is likely to be experiencing a high degree of flourishing if they have these elements in their life. And oftentimes people are missing or have lower levels of you know, one or more. P, positive emotions. Are you experiencing a high degree of positive emotions in your life? Are you excited about anything? Are you feeling feelings of love? Are you feeling um, you know, contentment and peace? A lot of these positive emotions that come up. So if you're not, then what do you need in order to get those? Engagement, that's the E. That is the extent to which you feel a flow experience of your life. Do you find yourself getting enveloped and interested in something? where time just starts going by and you can't wait to kind of get back at that. A lot of people find that in their work, some people find that in their hobbies, but having that sense of engagement is really important for well-being. R, relationships. How are your relationships in your life? We are not solitary animals. We need to be with other people. And the quality of those relationships are one of the strongest determining factors for our well-being in the long run. So. If the relationships with others are continuously not working, well, maybe there's something here that we need to investigate. M, meaning. Is there some sort of form of self-transcendence in your life? Is there something that you're working on or, uh, or spending time with or putting energy into that is more than just yourself? That could be a relationship with another, that could be a project, that could be a spiritual belief, right? But something that is self-transcendent, this really comes back to us as like, kind of hive creatures, right? We, 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 we have a need to connect to the greater tribe. And then A, accomplishment. Are you continually engaging in and actually feeling a sense of accomplishment in what you're doing in your life? This doesn't need to be anything amazing. It could be writing a haiku poem, right? Um, it could be getting a promotion at work. Anything, it could be winning a Nobel Prize, right? It's like there's a huge range. But the person winning the Nobel Prize although that's a huge accomplishment, might not even actually be feeling that sense of accomplishment. So it really comes down to are there elements in your life that are felt. So that's, that's the, the PERMA model.